But we're at our first sprinkler today and uh, we got another inch and a half last night. We just got done with a couple rounds of fertilizer. I've been turning that off as you've been seeing. I'm trying to, you know, record and post everything like to the date, you know, so it's all in order. But yeah, it, last night was crazy. It rained like all night. We had chances for hail and high winds, but thank God we didn't get any. All the corn is looking really happy, really good. Shutting a couple sprinklers off. Poor Zach, he had to wake up at 2.30 in the morning last night, take the ranger out because since the power went out, it uh, knocked out three sprinklers and completely shut them down. So his phone was going off, woke him up in the middle of the night and he had to go shut all those off. Even with all the moisture, we still would need more to shut off sprinklers. So I think we're gonna continue running them just to keep the corn happy. Right now they're using a ton of water in this stage. They're all, it's all starting to tassel out, which is wild to think about because it doesn't seem like time is going by that fast, but it is. So yeah, everything is tasseling out. This one always sucks to drive in, so we have to park right there. The sprinkler comes right over into the road and washes everything down. I'm looking for pretty rocks on the ground. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, Zach's been very full tilt, full throttle for a long time, but I think that's what makes a good farmer, right? It's it just working to death, but uh, he really cares about everything. So really proud. Today is a day where he can just chill and guess what we're doing? We're like working anyway, but later we're just going to relax. So we're at the next one. This is the one that you came with me to shut fertilizer off. update we have a dry land milo in the corners if you've been watching you already know that but yeah after that one and a half inches of rain this is what it looked like super happy and that motor looks super happy too you're gonna start to recognize different motors and different spots and different wells but we're gonna go to that one the wild one the pretty one we don't have any flowers. we don't have any like funky unique names we just call all our fields by the by section the name. number yeah so there's nothing really two days after the one and a half inch rain that we got out of nowhere. We're already starting sprinklers again and I was wondering why Zach was so torn on turning them back on and he made a really really good point that it takes four days to water this circle and 
as much as the corn will be okay, I mean, there's still standing water here. Um, as much as the corn will be okay for today and maybe even tomorrow, four days from now, what is that end corn gonna look like if the temperatures are gonna start rising in the next few days? It's gonna start getting over 100. We figured, yeah, we should just start them now. It has a chance to get to it before it starts drying it up. He's got me walking in here because somebody doesn't wear their muck boots every single day like I do, which is probably not normal to do anyway. But he's having me check the pressure of everything and we just have to wait for it to get all pressured up before we can leave. I'm really impatient, so I'm checking it every five seconds. While we get that pressured up, I can show you how good this corn is doing. Oh, there's little ladybugs everywhere the silks there's two ears on this and he said that some of the corn since it's been pretty happy this year has been producing three ears which is so exciting but he brought up the point that they probably aren't gonna make it look at this this is green snap half of the plant got ripped apart but it's still producing the ears and it can still pull out of that look at that so I guess it's important to have low ears on corn sometimes. But yeah, anyway, um, it can't, like a squirrel, it can't really produce three perfectly healthy ears. One is probably gonna dry up and fall off. I remember the first time I ever grew corn in my own garden and I didn't know anything about farming corn. I was just growing my own sweet corn to eat. And I planted like five plants thinking, oh, you know, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna have a few ears of corn. I didn't realize that each plant it gets way taller than me huge they only produce one ear like I was so depressed when I figured out that this whole season I've been taking care of five plants that are taller and bigger and stronger than me as a human and I'm only getting one ear per deal so and it's not as easy as you think all the corn when we ended up picking it a couple of bugs have got you know have gotten to it if you want to eat the food staying completely natural it was such a pain to grow corn yourself. So I just find somebody local that they grows their own patch and they sell it at farmer's markets or sometimes they even give it away for free. And I just hit them up at the, at the time of the season to eat sweet corn. So I kind of do a little bit of cheating, even though I love gardening, that's a pain in the butt. The people need to see this. Can I reach it? I think so. All the water's just gonna run down in your armpits. I can't reach that. Yeah, you can, it's like right at the top of your head. That's good. <laughs> I was scared it was gonna come back at me. Oh my gosh, you're so I know. Thanks a lot. Right, wait, we need to How do you feel? Post game interview. I feel a lot. How do you feel that your husband just made you do that instead of doing it himself? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm like being a baby over cleaning this one and you just did those two. You're allergic to corn as well. well. It's not so even bad. I just He doesn't like getting wet. Well, I don't even mind getting wet. Just, I, don't, I don't even know. I just I feel like I'm just looking for a reason to complain. Right now. So. Wait, that's a weird one. Oh. talking about how he doesn't like to get wet. <laughs> Dang it, I missed it. I'm so cold. Yeah, it is. That's a lot more pressure. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all I'm doing. That's so cold. Now we're both soaking wet. <laughs> nice. It'll go in there. 
Hey, let me end this with a little bitty outro. I don't know why I said itty bitty. You know I like to talk you guys' his head off. But you know how it is. We worked in the sun all day. We got really, really tired. The days have been blending together, but that's just how it is. Around this time and all next month, it's going to be busy, busy, busy. Again, let me know what you guys want to see. I film a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that you don't get to see, but I swear I try to film everything I can so you guys can get a good timeline. But let me know. I love your feedback. Again, and I say this in every video because I really mean it. But thank you guys so much for the love and support. I am meeting people from all across the world, commenting, talking to people. Honestly, this is turning out cooler than I ever even expected or hoped for. Also, I'm planning on making a video on how the sprinklers actually work. I'm getting a lot of questions about stuff like that from either people that are from different countries up north where you don't even need pivots or just people like me that, you know, went 30 years without knowing what one was. Either way, that's going to come out. A ton of new vlogs and adventures are coming out. Appreciate y'all so much. I'll shut up now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>